What's happening with my Baden's Art members? Hope you guys are enjoying the weather today over here in the UK. My video is just about how to walk your dogs in this heat. Um, over here in the UK, it's, uh, it's been pretty hot these past few weeks and today is about 30 degrees. So I just want to just give you a little bit of information on what I do in terms of how I maintain my dog's heat and temperature during these hot weathers. Basically, it, depends, it all depends on the breed of dogs you have as well. So like, if you've got the breeds like the Bronco type dogs, Basically, the ones with like the flat noses, like the English Bulldog, the French Bulldogs, the Pugs, those type of dogs, when it comes to heat, they struggle a lot to maintain their body heat. However, if you've got dogs similar to mine, like I've got like Cockapoos and Cocker Spaniels, dogs with more like a long snout, they can handle the heat better. However, also depends on your dog's fitness as well. Like my dogs, I walk them, well, when I say I walk them, they run every day, we go to the park, they run around. So their, their fitness level is pretty high. So when it comes to higher temperatures, they can manage that better. Especially since I like to train mine in the heat. Obviously not excessive, excessive, but we have done that before as well. So they can actually manage the heat a lot better than other dogs. Because I'm just saying some people are about, oh, how do you manage to like play ball and stuff with your dogs in this heat? And I was like, well, they're used to it. You've got to build them up to it. If your dog is not really an active dog, a catch potato dog, and you're going to go out and take it to the park and just throw balls and stuff like that, it's going to struggle. It's going to struggle. So you shouldn't really do that. In terms of maybe just put on a leash, walk around the block for a bit till it cools down. And when it's cooler, then if you want to take it out for a run or do your normal ball type games with it, then do that. So yeah, what I do is I take them to the park, let them run off the leash, play with them. I'll show you some clips in there now. <laughs> You know, dogs are active. We've been here for at least half an hour before I filmed this, and they're all okay. I'm not lying half dead, panting out of breath. So, I'm just doing some rope ball games with the smaller dogs as well. One's a cocker spaniel, bubbles, it's a dark chocolate one, is autumn, cockapoo, and the, that's a toy poodle. You can see they're very active, and this is 30 degrees weather, and there's Sky, she doesn't really run with the ball. But you see, she's still active. So yeah, as you've seen, they just like play, run around. It's quite easy for them to do this. They do get a bit tired. I do notice they are a bit more tired in the heat, as they should be. But they handle it very well. And also, you can always just maintain and watch your dog. Like if you feel like it's, he's having a hard time doing this, just don't bring him out then. Just just leave him inside and when it's cooler, take him out then. I mean, yes, this, you have to walk your dog every day, but you've got to be smart as well. If your dog is, if it's really hot, your dog's panting already, taking it out for a walk is not going to do anything. You're just actually just going to make it worse for him or her. Just let the dog just chill out when it's cool down, take him out then. Also, be mindful that you have lots of water available for them because they do drink a lot more water then as well and if you can well what well, you should you should have a shaded area for your dog or keep it inside as long as it's cool and like i said before some of those brand called dogs like the frenchies the bulldogs pugs etc type, those type of breeds you need the fan as well like i said they can't maintain their body temperature so yeah so that's what i do in terms of my dogs and then when they come back from the walk I'll show you a video on what I do. You can see here that the dogs aren't being dragged. They're actually walking quite forward. So they've got, still got quite a bit of energy left. No one's being dragged behind. So the load water was in the container. I pour it out and then rinse it. Just because obviously it's a really hot day and the water would have been warm and so Just giving it a rinse now. And here, I'm just drinking. And what also what I do is, I kind of just give them a little spray down as well. So that, that, it's not that they don't like it, but it's just like, ah, oh, what are you doing, mate? So I give them a little spray down. And now look, and just lying there, Sunny's chilling. Bubbles is always active. She's, she is tired still, 
and there's autumn. Um, sky somewhere around there, probably around the corner or something. But yeah, so now they're just chilling, and it's a happy dog. Water's still there. Always make sure you got the water topped up, and just leave them to it. But that's basically it, basically. Also, if your dog's breathing, breathing excessively in the heat, even though you've got cooling mats and stuff, best just take them to the vet just to get a once over. That's better to be safe than sorry. So yeah, that's what I'd recommend. But apart from that, that's basically the process I do in terms of in the heat with your dogs. Like I said, you don't have to walk them in the heat or run them. You just wait until it cools down or walk them around the block quickly. If you're in the flat, just walk them around the block, let them go to the toilet, and um, that's it, bring them back home. But like I said, if you've got active dogs like mine, they need, they need to walk for a walk regardless of the weather. Just do it and just be sensible with it. All right, guys? Like I said, I've got dash hounds, cockapoos, spaniel, and then malinois. So, I've got some active dogs there. So, yeah, any of you guys with those breeds, feel free to message me for any advice. And yeah, that's it, guys. Take care. Have a good week. Sunday, Sunday today, should be out today as well. And yeah, catch you guys in the next video. Peace.